So it holds the pot weight and it's just your I like that. Thank you. Does it feel better? <laughs> Brenda's going to come on that side to help. Well. Okay, okay. So this is what I want to show you. I don't want to spend time on the head right now. So don't worry about this, but I want the head and neck supported. What I want to show you is the shoulder. Okay, lift up your arm. I mean, oh. head. <laughs> that thing that's sticking out. Put <laughs> your head up. Okay, good. Now I want to show you something about the arm. Yeah? Okay. When you lie in Shavasana, you always do that. Pretty much, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Common, yes? Okay. And what some people do, and I don't want you to do this ever again. It's my request. You see this all the time. Lift up your right arm, Common. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Common? What that does is it takes the head of the humerus, right? Put your hand on the head of the humerus. It's right there under your finger. Even if you've got, like, you've been to go to the gym four hours a day and you're really, it's right under. There's no, it, your flesh does not cover the head of the humerus. And this is the weak part of the capsule. You're probably going to do some shoulder work tomorrow. This is the weak part of the capsule. So when you lift this, when, you're, when you do this, you're doing that. And you're pushing the head of the humerus against the weakest structural part of the shoulder joint. Why are you doing that? Now watch my hand here. Can you all see this? Okay. If I'm, if I'm like this, I'm now straining the anterior capsule of my shoulder joint. But if I lift my wrist, head of my humerus drops down in the socket to a more stable position. 